All right. What is going on, everybody? Brian back with another live stream. Let me get this clicked over there. Hold on. All right. So I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me. Let me make sure my... Yep. That's what it is. All right. Now you guys should have game sound. How's everybody doing this morning? So um, I had a little bit of time. Uh, before we start our normal uh, games for the day, which is going to be uh, Elden Ring and uh, Her Eyes in Forbidden West. It's really, really early in the morning for me, and instead of sitting here for two hours doing nothing, I uh, figured, you know, I'll just jump on and play a little bit, break down really quick, and uh, we played this on um, Twitch a few days ago, and I had a ton of fun. So I figured I'd, I'd bring it over here and see, see what you guys think about it. it it's really, really hard. Um, now, I started a game on Twitch already. Let me go f full screen on this. There we go. I uh, I started a game on Twitch, and it was... It, it, I'll, I'll just show you guys, but I want you guys to get the full experience, so I'm going to restart the game, but I, I'm going to show you guys uh, what we ended up putting together. Yeah, this is the first game. This is State of K1, guys. This is State of K1. Um, cheap game. If you guys do want to get your hands on it, uh, if you never played it, definitely give it a shot. It aged pretty decent. Like, you know what I mean? Like, graphically, it's still a pretty decent game. I mean, it's not, you know, anything to write home about, but it's it's really not that bad either. Like, as you guys can see, like, graphically, it's, it's really not awful either. Um, I've definitely played worse games, but... This is where we ended up. We moved up into Spencer's Mill. So this is Trumbull Valley map, the same map that is in um, State of K2 now. This is the original Trumbull Valley map. So uh, we'll be messing around a lot on this, but... There are still a few things to do out there. We, uh, we got our base built up pretty decent, and uh, we're going to go out and we're, we're going to try to do it again. I got my resources good, but like I said, I want to start a new game so you guys can see it from the beginning because Breakdown is rough. When, uh, and we're going to jump right into level the highest level I have unlocked, which is only breakdown level two. Um, now, this goes all the way up to like level 99 or something insane like that. And I can tell you guys already, level two is already like lethal zone. I'd say maybe like in between nightmare and lethal zone hard. I got jumped by like two ferals and a juggernaut right toward the beginning of the, of, of the game. And it was like it was scary. Like ferals and state of K1 can dodge your bullets like when you're shooting at them to literally jump from side to side and they're so hard to hit uh but yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna jump into this and uh and uh the person i started with last time so as you play breakdown there's um little missions that you can do in game that unlock all of these special heroes which a lot of these are characters from the story um they're considered hero characters and you can honestly get all of them and there's no community limit or anything like that in state of decay who is this I, I didn't unlock like maya i don't think but um they all come with their own different starting gear and stuff like that uh here's andy pims <laughs> uh but andy doesn't really have much uh in terms of gear so i'm gonna go with garabani though and we're gonna load in now i'm gonna try to go right back for the uh no, well, Cal I was supposed to do Witcher 3 last night, but I was sick AF, guys. I was feeling like absolute shit. Um, so I didn't end up doing my second stream for the day yesterday. Um, and I want to keep my, my my schedule going, so I'm going to end up, I'm going to skip Witcher 3 uh, that I was supposed to do last night. I'll do Elden Ring and Forbidden, Forbidden West tonight, and then we'll just pick it back up tomorrow, our normal, our normal time. So... Um, because we are on a higher level of breakdown, um, we're gonna we automatically start out here in the middle of nowhere with our with our broken down RV, and I have to find a base. Now we we have a group of survivors with us. We got Lily Ritter, um, Jesus, who has a G19 and a wooden bat. Nice. She has no gun and a cricket bat, and he has a baton and a bolt scout. So he was a cop. I'm trying to check their skills right now. Cop, uh, autocrat, like shooting. So he's got a, an okay, but he's a smoker, pack a day. Um, she has asthma attacks. Farmer, 
which is nice. We can use her. I be, I don't know. I don't know. So the thing is, guys, I don't know a whole lot about State of K one uh, when it comes to like facilities and things like that. I'm terrible. Like honestly, it's almost like playing a new State of Decay for me. Uh, that's why I, I think I enjoy it so much because I don't know anything about the skills or anything like that. But she has the um, horror culture skill and etiquette, so I might be able to utilize that at base somehow. I'm pretty sure uh, Andy has high stealth to make up having a crutch. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know nothing. Uh, okay, so this is a powerhouse survivor. Um, that's Lily, and then I got Garabani, who is medicine, reflexes, shooting. So first things first, where are we? So we're up in um, Fairfield. Our goal is to get down here in the Spencer's Mill and get to the church base. So, we're gonna. I have enough materials to move in. Gurbani comes with a silenced gun when you first start. Uh, let's scan. Let's loot out this military site. Actually, this is pretty good uh, place to start. There's a couple gun spots, literally right here and right across the street. We can go ahead and get our, ourselves some guns. Look at that. Two bags of ammo, a handgun, nice. some grenades, thermite. I'll run this home. Yes, yeah, run this. See you soon. Right into our, our supply locker here. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. So inventory management is something that you got to get used to in State of Decay 1. It's a little different uh, because it costs influence to actually take stuff out and put stuff in, like, to, to mess around in your supply locker. Um, so if you guys want to reorganize your inventory, do it in the trunk of a car. Um, it's free. If you just want to reorganize it. There you go. Don't say So we got two bags of ammo there. I'm actually going to equip. Now I believe our, our rifle thing... Uh, equip. Let me go see if I have any 45 shells. Okay, we do. So we're going to grab those. I have a little bit of extra ammo. Now, zombies are a lot harder in State of Decay 1. Like, normal zombies are pretty tough. Um, So you got to be careful when you fighting them. A few more Rusty, more yeah, man, I figured we'd, we'd jump in and play this for a couple hours until we had jump in and do some Elden Ring. Let me lure these guys over here. All right, so we just got to be careful pushing in here. Oh, you guys missed the, the execution. Okay, so we're going to sneak around this side. There's a little, like, compound. Oh, shit. I forgot how the hell we even get in here. Because this isn't set up like this anymore in uh, State of K2. Sounds like there's quite a few zombies around. Jose, how you doing, man? Oh, the executions are so dope in State of Decay 1. Like, you seen that? Evan, how you doing, man? I think we should be good. Let's see what we can get out of here. Wolf Cub, how you doing today? I'm doing all right, man. Feeling a lot better hey, today than I did last night. Do what you can. Okay, so we got nice. three batons. Yeah, my health is very, very low. Very, very low. We'll get Garibani there, though. She has amazing stamina. Okay, so we got a M16... Uh, we got some pretty decent guns here. Let's grab both of those. I'm loaded up. 
See you back at base. We'll come back for that Roger last that. ruck and we'll then uh Already a juggernaut over there. Uh, so like I said, breakdown is the state of decay hard mode. State of decay one hard mode. And um I yeah, you you get I, I couldn't even I can't even imagine how hard it's gonna be in the higher levels. Like I said, I haven't really played breakdown. I think the highest You're level of breakdown I've ever done was like level help. four. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. Five or something like that. Hunt down a juggernaut zombie. Seriously, why would they want to do that? Found this while I was out. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. So look at this gun holds a hundred rounds, guys. It is a LMG. Straight light machine gun. Yeah, this is a really like I said. If you guys haven't seen the OG State of Decay, it, it's 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 pretty damn cool. So yeah, we just got ourselves an LMG. That would be nice to actually take down Juggernauts. Like, I could honestly go hunt Juggernaut. And there's a bloater over there. Grab this last bag of ammo and this gun. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. All right, that site is cleared. I could try checking inside here. I don't know if there's wep like guns in here though. I forgot what's what's in this warehouse. I think this is like an old military warehouse. There might actually be uh, supplies in here. Shit. Yeah, this is the original uh, Trouble Valley. Trying to get her up against the wall, but it didn't work. Tommy, hey, I appreciate the love. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you. All right, guys, we just got a large backpack. That's going to be nice to give to another one of our survivors. Oh, yeah, the Juggy Stun. Yeah, that. so that's a State of Decay 1 thing. Um, if you guys force a juggernaut, you know how juggernauts charge at you? Um, well, in SOD 1, if you dodge out the way and the juggernaut hits a wall, it actually staggers it. And, uh... If you wanted to claim dibs on some of the better gear, I don't think anybody'd mind. I'm like, man, that's such a cool feature. Like, why didn't they bring that over in SOD 2? You know what I mean? To be able to... Like, it would give you so much more, like, strategy when it comes to fighting jugs. Being able to like use your environment and shit, that's pretty dope. So we'll grab all those five, five, six rounds. Yeah, my go my goal here, guys, is just grab as much gear as we can while we're here. Um, Cause this is like high end military grade equipment that we're getting our hands on. Uh, Cause once we get into Spencer's mill, it'd be kind of a journey to come over here and uh, try to loot for guns and stuff. There is a gun store in, um, in Spencer's Mill that we're going to hit, but being able to get a military site right off the bat um, and have a spawn so close, it, it really, really beneficial. The only problem now is we got to find a car. And as you go up in, in breakdown levels, cars are a lot harder to come by. And the thing about State of K1, guy, guys, which makes it kind of hard is cars aren't, there's no repair kits. So if you, if you blow up a car... There. 
it's done. Like, that's it. The car is done. Like, there's nothing else you can do for the car. And I kind of like that. Um, and there is ways to up fix your cars, though. You have to have a mechanic. You have to have a, your workshop upgraded with, like, um, like with maintenance type stuff and while your cars are parked in the parking spot as time passes your community works on the vehicle slowly but surely like uh but and the, and like the like the lower level of the garage only does like cosmetic fixes but then if you have the higher level it actually will repair the engine so repairing and maintaining your cars in state decay Found 1 is actually really really hard but um once you get up in the higher levels of breakdown it's uh, it, it gets really, really hard to even just find a car, period. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to head up on top of this tower, see if we can scout out a vehicle. Sorry, Alexander, how are you doing? How are you doing today? All right, let's survey. Yeah, the passive vehicle repair definitely needs to be in the auto shop. That'd be so good. I'm there. I'll take a look around. Okay, so let's see. Just scout this whole area out. Spotted a weird one. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Hmm. Got some freak zombies. More military stashes. There's a building. Another military stash. Out. There's the Ferris wheel right there, guys. As you guys know in uh, State of Cave 2, uh, that's the Red Talon fob base over there. There, we got a vehicle. Another vehicle. Uh, this strep, that's where the Oasis is now. Oh, shit. Just wasted a bullet. Yeah, I, I went and got my hair cut. I had it look presentable, you know. Starting to get a little rough there. Another military stash. Oh, that's the potential home site right there. All right, so uh, that's the Zed Hunt Juggernaut. We're I don't really want to do that, uh, but we will go and check. That's an SUV, bubbles, and a military pickup truck. So we're going to go over there. I might actually grab the military pickup. Evan, the fam is good, man. Fam is good. Yeah, State of K1 had a lot of character. Um, you'd need... A lot of character. The the graphics, the you know the, the like the, that's what I'm saying. The way the graphic style is in this game, um, it ages well because it is more of a comic booky. It's not going for like realism, and I think it just looks clean like all around. Like I don't know how it looks for you guys, but for me, it, it's it's so, pretty decent. I've been thinking about a lot of stuff lately, and something occurred to me. We don't know squat. Screaming down the road. Me. I mean, when it comes to long term survival. Like, I've got my dad's old notebooks, and I'm sure some people here have at least worked on a farm. But if we had reference material, we could do a whole lot more. Yeah? Well, since we don't have the internet anymore, I'm thinking we should start assembling a reference library. Books on gardening, electrical engineering, carpentry, anything we can get our hands on. We gotta start somewhere, right? And that's another thing stated K2 doesn't have. S shoulder swapping? Look at that. All right, so I think I might better just let that screamer do its thing. Yeah, see, backing up and hitting juggernauts with your car in State K1 does not... Uh, it doesn't work, guys. They will break the shit out of your car, like rip your wheels off and everything. Um, because in State of K1, you can actually, like, lose your wheels. And, um... Like, ride on the rim and shit. It's, it's, it's... 
It's pretty crazy. There's a... I didn't see a vehicle over there when I scout. Oh, that one? Oh, there was one right over there, wasn't there? Well, we're over here already, so... <clears throat> and... Public restroom. <clears throat> I was trying to see if I can get some food. But yeah, there was a military pickup right over there. Damn. Yeah, there is no shoulder swap in State of K2. Any news on Legacy Survivors coming back? Not yet. No, the, the, I don't think Undead Labs is going to bring, like, the heroes back. Uh, but I know that the they were talking about working on Legacy, the new Legacy Survivor system. For State of K2. Alright, so... What I'm going to do is... Might... Mm, I think we should just wait till we get to Spencer's Mill, you know what I mean? Alright, so we're gonna go up ahead, we're gonna move back to Spen we're gonna move over to Spencer's Mill. Uh, I forgot, we can take the bridge. <laughs> uh, these bridges are, uh, blown up in State of K2. Let's see, is there a military site here? Yep. Military stash. Yeah, we're gonna be doing Elden Ring today. That that that's our main uh like the normal streams I usually do, yeah, we're doing those today. Um but it's too early in the morning for me to start my new my regular streaming. Uh generally I start around like twelve, one o'clock. So I figured uh while I was waiting I would just uh Confirmed. Where's play this? Here? I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. Yeah, so that's everything. Two ba two more bags of ammo. Yo, we've been getting our hands on quite a bit of ammo. Loader. Casper, you said you prefer SOD1? All right, let's go ahead and get up here, and then we'll start worrying about outposts and all that crap. We got to get food and stuff. A whole lot of stuff that we got to get done. You seems to make my workday fly by. Thanks for the hard word and stuff. Hey, Captain Cor Hey, I really appreciate that, man. Seriously, thank you. Okay, so we got quite a few zombies here. Um, go ahead and clear. There's even a screamer inside. Now, four zombies is a good amount in State of the K1. The Screamer isn't in that group right there. Man, that's going to be nasty. I don't even have any Molotovs. Trim and no, dude. You don't have to do that. That is too much. Holy shit, dude. Thank you. Why, why, dude? Why? Sabrina, how are you doing? Oh, my God. Seriously, Dremon, thank you. Thank you. Why? Titan Gamer, how are you doing? Okay, Screamer right there. Got him. Might actually pick some of these guys off. Dremon, seriously, dude, that that is extremely kind of you.
Music is fire, though. So we don't have much in the in, in the way of ammo left, so let's hope uh Jesus, how many gam zombies are here? Jesus Christ, dude. I could use some food. And stamina is a big deal in State of K1. And like as you guys can see, that shit takes forever to come back. You really gotta be careful. I was panicking there a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I was panicking. Still a bloater over here, man. I got no ammo. Oh god, the bite. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to clear this right now. Area secure. Nice. Thank you, please. Let me be able to get in here and just Better do one more Did you guys see how many zombies are around? There's no way, dude. Oh, Harem, how are you doing this morning? Stamina, 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 stamina. We're gonna have to pop a snack. <laughs> Weapons already breaking. Exactly on our side, if you know what I mean. 
So I'm in trouble with this bloater uh, because they don't ever run at you. I just want a damn base. Is that too much to ask for? One of the great things about State of K1. I don't know. I think I might have the zombies see me come in here, so I don't think it's going to work. But you could hide in the freaking bushes. This is trying to sound pretty urgent. I don't know how long our friends can hold out. You may need to hurry. Like, and you're telling me that doesn't need to be in State of Decay 2? Or in any State of Decay game going, for, uh, going forward? You can hide in the freaking bushes, yes! Yeah, there was straight up stealth, like... Actual hiding. They introduce it to you in the story mode, too. Let's keep it moving. I think we're okay. We could probably beef up our defenses just to be safe. We just don't have enough people to cover the walls. All right, hopefully there's only a couple zombies left in here that we can clear out because I just want to get this damn base secure. That's all I want, dude. Yeah, you can barricade your windows as your base and your outposts. Uh, in any house, really, you can go ahead and barricade windows so zombies can't jump in. You mentioned uh, in one of you, you were in the military. I served, hey, Trevor, so I served in the Marines initially from 2006 to 2010, and then I uh, got out and I actually went and served in the Army afterwards. So I've, I've done it all, man. I've done it all. Shit, man, there's still zombies in the house, too, man. I gotta be careful because if you break weapons in State of K1, they break, break. Like, you can't repair them. Um, so when your weapons get yellow, you gotta be careful and make sure that you um, put them away so you can repair them later on. Okay, we should be okay now. Base should be clear. Let's see, 20 materials to get this place uh, claimed. I think we ought to move our base down here. Really? Are you sure? I'm yeah, sure. this is uh, the S Trumbull Valley in State of K1. Uh, so this used to be a base, the church that Santos moves in. There we go. So we are moved in. Um, we're low on materials. Uh... <clears throat> But to show you guys our base, let's get these beds fixed. Let's get the kitchen up and running. And let's see here. So we're going to start off with an infirmary. 
But we're going to need some more materials for that. Oh, and we have a watchtower. Which is right there. So as long as you have um, people in your community equipped with a gun, um, they will man the watchtower. Right now, uh, for instance, like you're... Oh, we had that other gun in our inventory that whole time. I'm going to swap off her. I'm going to let her rest. I think I have one other survivor I can play as right now. And, of course, we have a survivor missing. All right, so this is the other guy in our community. At this rate, it's only going to be a matter of days before the zombies swarm in here and kill us all. I don't know. Shit. At this rate, I'd settle for a slingshot. Better luck finding ammo for it, at least. Okay, so we got, um, we got this handgun. I think I'm going to rock this. I'll sleep easier now. I don't have any suppressors yet. You actually got to craft them in this game. And suppressors in State of K1 are limited. Like, they don't last forever. Okay, yo, actually, we got quite a few guns. Uh, I'll keep the baseball bat. Grab some snacks. And first things first, we need to get some... Uh, we need to get our resources squared away, so... I'm going to go ahead and actually search one of these houses. This one right here, I believe, is uh, where I I, put, I usually like to put an outpost here to cover uh, because you get the outpost traps. And I, I like to, you know, hey, encircle my base. Around. For a while there, I felt really secure, you know? Like, no matter what happened, we could always just move. Nothing could touch us. It's a long shot, but keep your eyes open, okay? If we have another chance like that, we should take it. Okay, so hopefully these 13 shots are enough for right now. <clears throat> wow, just that bat just went ham. Okay, so yeah, we're going to start with this house here. Um, see if we can find some food in here, maybe. Seriously? Look this way, we'll clear out whatever comes in. This dude goes ham with the bat. He is a powerhouse. Good crap, dude. Zombies getting, getting me every time right now. So we still got one more zombie on the outside here. Go ahead. Let's try to get them to come in. There we go. All right, let's get this place uh, secured, and we're going to make it into our first outpost. Very secure. No Zeds here. Now, in order to cr claim an outpost in State of K1, you have to fully search the building. But outposts are different. It's not like State like where in State of K2 it says like, oh, this building is a food outpost. The way you establish outposts in State of K1, it, it's all based off of what resources Anything at home I should be worried you about? leave in the house. So say I find right food in here. God damn, that's a lot of Think you can handle it? I think we're okay. Um, say you find food in here, you have to leave the food in the I'll show you guys how it works. It's better to just show. 
So, for instance, food resource. I found uh, some canned food, stuff like that. So, uh, we're going to leave that right there. Finish searching the rest of the house. You don't need to search the building at all. Like, like, gear, like, I, I mean, you got to fully search all of the containers in the house in order to claim it as an outpost. And ammo. So we actually got to grab this ammo. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. And now what I'm going to do is the house has been fully searched. We're going to go ahead and establish outpost. Yeah, I think we could hold this place. Should I tell everyone to pack up? Yeah, I'm pulling the trigger on this outpost. And now it is a food outpost because I left the food in there. And now I can actually go ahead and remove the food. I don't have to leave it in there any longer. I'm headed home. But, uh... Let me go ahead and drop this stuff. Run this ammo up. I didn't bring my vehicle down for... Oh, there's a hatchback out front. Never mind. We'll just load this up. And now that we have the outpost, what you can do is you go ahead to your outpost down here at the bottom. And you actually have to activate the outpost traps. But I don't have enough fuel to do that. So we're going to actually have to go and loot um, some fuel resource before I can go ahead and actually Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff activate home. traps. We'll be ready. Uh, our health is a little low, though. We're going to try to... Ma'am, I'm going to grab some... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself some heals. All right, let's see. Uh, some aspirin. Yes. Use one of those. That should bring us up. Now we get food every day from it. Yep. So we got hordes, as you guys can see, converging on our base. Um, I can intercept these hordes. Now, generally, that's what outposts are for, but uh, right now we don't have enough setup and we don't have fuel for traps. So I'm actually going to go intercept those hordes before they hit my base. those horse out really quick uh, I think down the road I at, down here I should actually be able to get my hands on some fuel take care of this screamer Swanee what's going on how you doing today man Got to be careful though, like I said, uh, when, when it comes to cars. Um, right now in the the, the the early breakdown levels, I don't really have to worry about it too much because um, there is going to be a decent amount of vehicles. Uh, why don't I use mods like uh, to to like first state of K one? Um, I could use mods. I, I've played State of K1 with mods before, uh, but State, I didn't have enough time to, like, install. This kind of was like a spur-of-the-moment uh, thing, me playing this. Another big That's backpack. Kind of shit I like to see. Sit Materials. I'm bringing this stuff home. No fuel, though. We'll be ready. All right, so we'll just, I know for a fact I can get fuel out of this gas station, so we'll head up to the gas station see if we can get some gas up there.
And there's another, um, I don't have enough space in my trunk, but, uh, you know what? Actually, let's grab this bigger SUV here. We'll transfer everything over. So I got a horde attack in my home right now. We're just going to transfer these resources over. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll see you soon. Um, I don't know what FOV this I'll is. This we'll be ready. Um, it's pretty pulled back. I'll run this home. We'll be ready. Okay, so we went ahead, transferred everything over. We got a little bit more space now. Yeah, I, I, though that that was what happened before. I was playing SOD with mods, and um, we had some bugs and glitches. Cause some issues. Okay. Air is actually pretty clear. Wow, awesome. So we got I'm two two uh, containers of fuel. We'll be ready. <laughs> Carter, how you doing? Grab both of these can loaded up. bags See of fuel. See, now we can hold a lot more. Uh, the only thing we haven't got our hands on yet is medicine. But we could always just go hit the little vet clinic. Shit, we could probably check in here and see if there's any, uh... Something's still moving around here. Probably gonna be food. D-Barris, I think I appreciate that, man. Yeah, the post office, I think, has some pretty good loot. Zombies are coming around. Just thinking about maybe doing an outpost here too, you know what I mean? Area secure. No Zeds here. You know what I mean? Right at the start of the town. Intercept any hordes. I, I feel like it's pretty be a good spot. It is clunky compared to State of K2, you know what I mean? Um, Carter, if, if you're used to the smoothness of State of K2, SOD1, it does feel a lot clunkier. Um, until you get used to the controls. Like, I'm used to the controls at, at this point, so it doesn't feel much different. But, yeah, once you get used to them, it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. So yeah, we'll do an outpost here. I should have done a fuel outpost, honestly. I'm 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 not pretty dumb for that, but uh it's all good. Looks like a good spot for an outpost. Pretty big stuff. Sure you want to go through with this? Yeah. Tell the gang we're building an outpost here. Okay. Shit, that just blocked my uh thing here. I don't know. Damn it. I don't even know if I'll be able to get the food out of here now. Because <laughs> the outpost locker. I think our defenses are okay, but I'm not sure I want to put them to the test. You know what's awesome? Outpost. We should set up more. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, so um, we have this outpost here. I'm going to get this fuel back, and then we'll go ahead and um, 
activate these outpost traps, which should cut down the hordes a little bit. Brock, how you doing? Whoa there. This while I was out. Mm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. The hell are these guys doing outside? these guys we could use a hand clearing the area oh shit they yeah 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 I, yeah we'll help you guys let's go watch my back so this group came over to my base to ask me to help them clear out infestations I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deposit these resources Don't say I never gave you nothing mm, what you got oh you know stuff Alright, so while we're gone, the only thing we need is medicine. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate outpost traps. So now what that does is it expands the circle on the outpost. And any horde that walks into this circle will get hit with a trap. Uh, I do need to get another one in this area to stop them from coming around down this main road. So maybe like either on the corner here. Or something like that. Damn, they want me to go all the way over there to clear infestations? I was hoping that they wanted to clear this one. Let me grab some Molotovs. And some extra ammo. Dracos, what's up, man? So drop that. I'm gonna grab some mollies and I'm using what, nine millimeter? So night is coming in. Glad we haven't run into any ferals or anything yet. Take the pickup. Start crafting uh, suppressors and never stop before 50. Yeah, I really... I gotta get uh, 20 materials. So I want to get a sick bay. Let's get a uh, medical area set up really quick. Uh, because your survivors can actually get sick. And, like, catch a cold in State of K1, and they can spread it among your community. Next thing you know, your whole community is sick. Literally sick. And, um, there's a bunch of debuffs and stuff that you get for being sick, so. Turco's White Wolf donated $5. Dude. Got to see if you remember to restart the jumps. No, I, did, I didn't put it on on this one. No, I, I, I always forget, man. Because we have it off for so many of like our story games and stuff like that, um, that I, I don't remember to put it back on. Alright, it's officially nighttime. And I want to thank you guys over a hundred likes on the stream. Um, I didn't I was kind of just testing this out because I was playing this on Twitch. Um, I didn't know what the reception was gonna be like on YouTube. I didn't know if like a lot of people were gonna want to watch me even play this uh, every now and again. Like this isn't gonna be something I play every day, you know, or up I'll, I'll be playing it every now and again, but um I didn't know if you guys even wanted to see it on YouTube, so this was kind of like the test stream. <clears throat> and depending on how well it does, we'll we'll 
playing on here, or I'll just go back to playing it okay, on Twitch. Listen. I picked something up over the radio. There's a broken down RV just outside of town. Looks like somebody just left it there. It's in way better shape than most of the other big vehicles that are lying around. If we can fix it up, it might be our ticket out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's deal with these screamers. I'm ready. Got him. Zombies on our right. Area secure. Damn, I'm tired. That was it? They're just gonna peace out? Seems like they're moving around a bit. I'll get you the location. All right, so I'm going to try to see if we can find a medical, straight medical location. I don't see anything over here, though. Catbird, what is going on? How you doing? Nice. Some 22 rounds, some snacks. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. How's it going back home? There's an issue with the infirmary. We're trying to get it set up, but we don't have everything we need. All we right. can track it down, or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. Okay, so what, what do we need for the infirmary? Uh, they need super glue, so we're gonna go ahead and search for some super glue. Um, get the infirmary up and running. That's where the RV is. Now, the RV is how you progress daybreak le tiers, like levels. Um, you go find it, you repair it, you leave. Uh, so you can literally just like speed run, you know what I mean? Uh, be but you have to have like a bunch of resources to fix the RV. Um, but right now, strangers in trouble. Yeah, we're, we got a lot of stuff back in our in, a, in our bait like area here. So we'll go. We'll clear this infestation out of our town, and I'm gonna go ahead and search for that stuff. Okay, so this survivor's actually starting to get tired already? Jesus, dude. I don't have a whole lot of playable characters yet, so... And Draco, so yeah, man, I'm definitely feeling a lot better today than I did last night. Here we go. Grab these meds.
Uh, no, we were supposed to do The Witcher last night, Josh, but I was sick. Man, my stomach was all tor all sorts of jacked up. Um, so I didn't get around to doing it last night, and I'm going to try to stay on my schedule. So uh, we'll just be picking The Witcher back up tomorrow on our normal... We've got this place locked down. Normal thing. Yeah, sorry about that if you guys were waiting for The Witcher last night, and but I was not feeling very great. That's the kind of shit nice. I like to see. Nice! Dude, we got the super glue for the infirmary. And we'll, hopefully we'll be able to get the meds, too. Come on, we need, like, meds, meds, not, like... So what do you guys think the highest level of breakdown I could make it to? I I think I'll run this home. We'll be ready. I think I could probably do like level seven. I think I'm gonna max out at level seven. So an outpost here probably wouldn't be that beneficial. I'm thinking probably here again. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. So we got ourselves some medicine. Yeah, it's just a normal zombie. 70? Oh man. Uh, 99 never, dude. deal with these guys coming up. I gotta be careful because we are tired. Thing is, I'm not good at throwing Molotovs in State of Game 1, like, at all. Like, if I could get this door open... Oh, it's already open. And throw a Molotov in that back area over there. Oh, man, we could do some damage here. Get this zombie to come out. And that's the thing is, uh, screamers and zombies don't always die with one headshot, especially if you're using lower caliber guns. Uh, like 22, yo, sometimes it can take three or four headshots to kill a zombie. one more zombie in here somewhere. That should do it. Okay, so how much influence do we have? Yeah, we, we could probably make this into a, a, a good outpost. I feel like this would be a, uh, a nice spot to intercept hordes. 
Captain, I appreciate it, man. Zombies react to light in SOD1? Oh, man. That's, is that why they seen me? Yeah, 22s in State of K2 are way too powerful. The cheapest ammo in the game, you can hold so many bullets and it one-shots everything, even ferals, you know what I mean? You definitely ain't one-shotting a feral in the head with a 22 in State of K1. It, it isn't happening. Caspi, that would be the end of the channel right there, dude. That would be it. That would be the end of my YouTube career. Nice. Wow. Two bags of medicine. That That's super clutch. Uh, because I actually could use a medic medicine outpost. I don't think so. Well. Wouldn't be a bad idea to set up here. Should I tell everyone to pack up? Hey, Dread, thank outpost, you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. There we go. So now we got an outpost here uh, to intercept hordes. We have outposts here to intercept. And one there to intercept. So there really is no way for the zombies to get in towards my base here without running into some kind of uh, outpost traps. So let's get these resources back to base. How's my car at? Uh, how many shots from a 22? Like five or six, Rusty. Well, t you, you, see, Caspi, you think that, bro. But when you look at the, the analytics, man, you, you see the true picture. You know, on my monthly views, 87% of my views come from State of K2 playlists. How's it going? Lots of zombies right behind me. Um... There you go. Elden Ring say, has taken over sub subscriber count over the past two weeks, but um, 70, like 3% of my subscribers I get on my channel, still to this day, all come from State of K2. Um, most people that find my channel find me through State of K2. Uh, Sumi, hey, I, I, I don't know. Um, we were talking about playing The Witcher, and then I went ahead. and I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. And I'm so glad I did because yeah, it is. It's amazing. That game is so good, so good. Um, but the, the what made me play it now was pretty much you guys, you know, telling me that it was good. And uh, I, I don't regret it. I played it a while back, like very, very little of it. B Apex, thank you so much for this uh the membership, man. Welcome to the family, dude. Scratch that off the wish list. Okay, so the super glue. What the hell else do we need a uh, anger management? Somebody needs talking to. Oh yeah, intern. Most most people find me through stated K2. Hey, thought you could use a little time away from the ranch. Sure. So sometimes people have uh, hard times, and we got we got to bring them out, chit chat with them. Now the cool thing is where they want to go. Uh, we might actually better get our hands on some pretty good loot down there, and I'll grab that old school muscle car. But B Apex, thank you again for the membership. Welcome. How you doing today? So Park. things have been pretty tense around here, huh? Seems that way. Some folks are kind of worried about you. You okay? Maybe everyone else has just been a little too sensitive lately. Right, so we're going to go on foot down here. It's like trouble up ahead there. Uh, 
Now, this guy is getting tired. I still have to be careful, but I, I don't want to switch characters yet. Found me through the Witcher 3. Yo, that's awesome. That is awesome. We got zombies coming in. I can honestly say that's probably not a common thing. I wonder how many. Uh, that is a, a curious thought. How many? I wonder how many people found me through The Witcher. What? Keep an eye out to the left. So there's a site right here that has fuel and materials in it. We'll hit that. Okay. Now we're going to kill some zombies the old fashioned. <laughs> Break his fucking skull. Intern, I, I really appreciate that, man. Uh, who do you think created the zombie virus in SOD? Um, they're, they're aiming towards, like, you know, the government and this and that, but I think it was... I, I, I honestly don't know. It could have been some type of, like, government experiment gone wrong. You know what I mean? For sure. Infamous Second Son? I don't even know. What the hell is that? on YouTube uh, top four or five games you think brought them in oh, good grab grab it not too bad lead the way watch my back so we just could bring him home but we're gonna bring him next door actually and go ahead and loot Jacobs again with the super jam head thank you so much this is a good idea and clear this house out, make it a safe area. I'm not alone in here. <laughs> All quiet here. Alright, we'll grab this muscle car here. I wonder how many slots it has in the back. Yeah, so we can hold a couple rucks in there. My bat is breaking. Found Brian through the Donkey Kong streams at Christmas. Bullshit! No way, dude. That's, all right, uh, I'm going to ask in chat just because now I'm curious. Uh, how? And if you guys are watching this afterwards and you want to answer the question, how did you find my channel? Like, what game brought you to my channel? Uh, answer in the comments below. So we'll put State of... I already know State of K2 is going to be the biggest. State of K2. Um, do that one. Try to think of some of the bigs. Um. We'll just put other. Found through the YouTube latest. <laughs> Camille got jokes, baby. There it is.
Dude, this car sounds sick. Listen to the engine. Like, this shit has better sound effects than the muscle car in SOD2. Alright, we gotta be careful with this bat. I don't want I don't wanna lose it. I yo, I actually have Miss Survival and the Infected. Two games I definitely want to try out at some point. Okay, we got some materials. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. Yeah, everything else falls under other. I uh, exactly do four options. I was I know Fallout 4 was a big game that brought in a lot of subs. State of K, huge game that brought in a lot of subs and then uh Elden Ring lately has brought in a ton. Home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Hey, intern, I appreciate that. I really try hard. I try hard, man. Sometimes it's a little tough, but uh I'll never stop trying. Okay, so that site really didn't have as much as I thought. I thought I'd at least get two bags of materials. We only got the one. Uh, there's a shed across the road here we can check. Cryptic Fox is another YouTuber that you guys should definitely check out. Um, he's amazing. He plays a lot of games that I, I play too. Um, he has great taste in games. Uh, right now he's playing Elden Ring. He's big Icarus player. A game I still have not checked out. Uh, so definitely go give his channel a, a, a sub. If you guys are finding him first time, first time, comment on this video. Let him know I sent you over there. Gotta be careful, this bat is getting pretty close to breaking. Gotta watch my stamina. Secure. No Bonnie, why are you out here? What the hell is she doing? I'm loaded up. See you back at base. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Guru Arvid, they're they're both awesome. They're both awesome. Guru especially. He's a, he's a really good friend of mine. Um, I had a, had a lot of good times with my man, Guru. Long time supporter of my channel. He's, he's a great guy. Arvid's cool. I, he's very, very... Damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Infamous Second Son? I, I I think I've heard of Infamous before. It's funny. Cryptic is where I spent my evening last night. Didn't have anything. Yo, Cryptic is... Hey, it's a good way to spend your evening, though. Yeah, why can't I, uh... I'll run this home. Do we'll that. There we go. So we got more materials and more fuel. Let's get this guy home. I want to come and see why Garibani's out here. This one, dude. Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Whatever your problem is, you need to knock that shit off. You're Damn. freaking out the others. Is that why you wanted this bit of quality time? You don't get special treatment just because you're pissed off. Don't act like the enemy, or I'll treat you like one. Found this while I was out. Let him know we don't mess around. Not in this community, guys. Hey, thanks for the pep talk. It helped. Good. All right, our resources are looking really, really good right now. Um, our scout just spotted a new group of survivors. If you want to check it out, it's on your map. Okay, yeah, so 
Garibani wants to hunt a feral. That's why she's out there. I don't think I have any other survivors. Oh, my God. Seriously. So she's still missing. Um, he's tired. I can't switch to Garibani. So we're going to have to go out, out and uh, do that mission with her. A new melee weapon. Now I'm gonna need something to keep myself awake. I don't know how this works in stated K1. Is there like coffee or restores max stamina a fair bit? So like this, one of these maybe? Yeah, okay, that worked. That worked right there. Um We got enough bullets, I believe. We should be okay. I'm gonna bring some pills, just in case we get hit. Let's go link up with Garibani. State of K1 is freaking brutal, man. Like, it does not let up. You've been pushing yourself like crazy. Come home and get some rest. I wish I could. Crawl out the windshield, baby. That's how you do it. <laughs> Last day in Aftermath? Yeah, that's what's up. No, the doll is a distraction item, I believe. It's kind of annoying that girl Bonnie wants to go hunt a feral. I actually might tell her no. We could use your help in this area. How about it? Mm, yeah, you know, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll follow you. Watch my back. Screw it. Uh, no, we're on level two right now, Dante. We're, we started on breakdown level two. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. All right we'll now, ready. actually, we got a decent amount of materials back at home, so we're going to go ahead and uh, build a workshop. No, 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 not that. Workshop. So we got it in workshop building. I don't know what I want to put out uh, for my third facility yet. All right, Garamani, you ready? Let's go find this damn feral. Now here will probably be... Uh, Last clip. Better make it count. A good example on how hard ferals are to shoot, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to try to shoot this one. So the skills in this game level just like they do in State of K2. I don't know how, like, your your fifth skills, you know, your actual, like, uh, I don't know how those level in State of K1. Like I said, I'm, I'm very, very brand new when it comes to that type of stuff. Hey, Broker Boys, thank you so much for the sub, man. I appreciate the, the support, dude. Thank you so much. Okay, we got a bloater right there. So I only got 14 shots. I should have uh, came out a little bit more prepared, but... Here. Where is he? Found shit. Go through. Jesus. Nice. Here, buddy. This. Oh, I'm so quick. Take it easy. I don't even know. But I think I hit him once. Not even in the head. All right. Awesome. So she's gonna head home, but the problem she's gonna be tired. I guarantee she's gonna be tired.
Just Cause is also a good game. I played Just Cause. That's the game with the parachute dude, right? With like the grappling hook and I, I think I, I used to mess around on the game quite a bit when I was younger. We just wrapped up a construction awesome. Project. So our med bay is now built. One of the things I do want to start working on is the hero characters. Try to see if we can start unlocking some pretty good ones. Let's clear these bastards out. You yeah. coming? Didn't we already help you guys? We'll follow you. Watch my back. It's the infestation crew. They go around trying to make the world a better place by uh, clearing out infestations. Um. So ammo wise, we're gonna actually store that gun. I'm gonna grab um I'm gonna grab this LMG. Keep that on me, and we'll grab some Molotovs. Okay, where is this infestation they want me to hit? Again, up in Fairfield, man. These guys really like to travel. This poor dude. I've, I've literally been playing with the same survivor for, like, ever now. He's gonna literally die of exhaustion. But Gurbani's back home right now. I guarantee she's probably tired. Yep, she's tired, too. I gotta find out why the hell that lady's missing. We're gonna have to find her. That's one of the sketchy things about State of K1 is like the fact that like your survivors can go missing and you have to literally go out on missions and find them. It's like It's annoying, but it's cool at the same time. Cuz sometimes I say I want to play with a certain survivor, I want to do a certain thing. Um the fact that my survivor is just not there could be very very frustrating. State of K3, yeah, State of K3 is definitely coming. I still think it's a few years off before we see it, but uh, definitely excited. I was hoping to see a gameplay reveal trailer uh, like at the end of this year. That'd be sick. Even if it's like real, real early. I I think that'd be good. <laughs> feral and a juggernaut. Two ferals. Shit. They might follow me all the way down here. Let's make this happen. Nah, we should be okay. Where are the zombies at? Wow, that worked? Seriously? I'm not gonna question it. Alright, so as you guys can see, my energy drink thing or the pills I took uh, wore off. We gotta be careful. Uh, get a character torn apart by a uh, zombie, then you get Jacob Ritter will be playable. 
I think I unlocked him already, uh, Camille. I think, I think we unlocked him by when we got ripped apart um, in my last playthrough. Uh, I mean, I, I I see what you're saying a little bit, Paul. Yeah, I, I, I can I can get behind that. You know, asking on a state of the K stream what my primary followers are from. Um, I I could see where the the conflict of interest, how that could be a conflict of interest. The problem is uh, Titan is I don't have uh, I don't own Infamous, and I think it's a PlayStation game. And I, I'm not huge on console games, so I'd, I, I would have to go and buy them. At, but there's so many other games that are on the list before uh, that I'd play before that. So um, if I were to play that game, it would be a, it's a while off. You know what I mean? Because I have so many games we have to get to. Wow, ton of food in this place. Get out of here. That's insane. Uh, I don't even know how much time we have. Or I don't even know how much space we have in our trunk. I'm actually... I can grab four bags of food. That's a lot of food. How do you change the fire? Oh, I don't think you can on this gun. Tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. We'll be ready. <laughs> We're gonna get the hell out of here. Loader. Cool. Good thing I got out of there when I did. Oh, Camille, I always forget about those little explosive tanks around, dude. Um, what is my criteria for choosing games going forward? So I just, I, I don't know, just games that I have, I was always interested in. I have a huge list of games for us to play. Like, it, it's a massive. Um absolutely massive there's probably 30 plus games on the list uh because i lived under a rock for a very long time when i was in the military i didn't play a lot of games um so there's so many games that i want to play uh going forward like some like just so you guys know some of the ones coming like coming uh would be like uh for instance, uh, we beat Assassin's Creed 1. I want to play Assassin's Creed 2 really, really bad. I want to play a lot of the Assassin's Creed games. Um, Fallout. We beat Fallout 4. I want to go back now and I want to play Fallout 3 because I've never played it before in my life. I want to play Fallout New Vegas. Um, uh, Bioshock. Uh, Detroit Become Human. Uh, Casper, you know, wants me to play that. There's... Uh, it, it, it's crazy the amount of games guys that, that, that I have on the list you know Subnautica Subnautica Below Zero like it, it, the list is damn near infinite <laughs> I even want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 
Bannerlord. I actually own that game. Somebody gifted me that. Um, do I play co-op games? I do sometimes make drunk again, but the problem is um, when I play with random people, like from the chat, it's always very, very. Sounds like there's some commotion out there. Um, gotten ourselves into a jam. Hectic. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. I guess I'm you could say, because uh, back when I was doing like small time streaming, it didn't really matter because like my my stream quality was terrible, anyways. Um, but it's always hard to like play with random people because you don't know how their audio is going to be. You don't know, you know what I mean? So if I, and then if I get somebody in, then they're like, la, 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 you know, like wicked talk, like, cause I've gotten people in the, in the, in the chat before that just like, they don't have very good stream etiquette and they just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and I can't even get a word out, you know, and I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that. So, um, it's always wicked hard to play with randoms. Uh, and th then the fact that if I do open up my stream for people to play, there's going to be hundreds of people that want to play with me, and I'm only going to have time to play with a very, very small portion of them people, especially on a game like State of Decay. So uh, it is very, it, it is very, very hard to to play with, uh, do co-op when you're a streamer that streams to hundreds of people. It's it's it can be very, very frustrating. You know, and then you're dealing with technical issues. Some people have issues logging in and it's just it, it, it can definitely get hectic do i play warzone i've never played warzone a day in my life eric i i actually wanted to set, try it out um i was watching b david play it and it, it looked like a lot of fun shit man so how do i do this all my people are tired I, we're gonna have to switch over to garibani but she's just not as tired as the other dude but Okay, so we're going to drop that sword. We'll get her a new weapon. I'm actually going to swap out this gun uh, for something else. Yeah, we'll grab this uh, P226 here, or we can give her this. It's not a bad gun. Grab some snacks. So resource-wise, we're good to go. I just need to find missing survivor. There we go. Oh, my God. I'm like, dude. <laughs> but we're good now. We're good. Let's go hunt down our missing survivor. Uh, maybe I should pop one of those stamina items again. Wake her up. Yeah, we played Escape for Tarkov on the channel. Uh, just actually, like, what was that, Caspi? Right Probably like three weeks ago, a month ago. Um, I did a stream of it. Yo, that game is so hard. That game is so hard. And we're done building. You coming? I'll check this out next. Don't push yourself too hard. You need to give yourself time to heal at home. All right, let's go locate our missing survivor. I'm so used to playing State of K2 where I have to pin my car up against stuff. Um, I was doing it repeatedly uh, when we were on Twitch streaming this. Okay, so this is our missing persons mission. We got to walk around and figure Anybody out. Home? Does anybody know what button it is to switch firing mode? Like, uh, to switch, like, from fully automatic? Spacebar? Is it space? No. What the hell button is it? Let's see, I'll check the controls. Four. I, I switched it myself. Okay. There we go. Single fire all day. Oh, radio command words of encouragement. Okay, yeah, yeah, we could use that if she does get more uh, tired because we're going to have to use her for a bit while the other guy uh, rests up. But we're just going to be in this endless circle of tired people. Rest. Hey, man, welcome to the family. I really appreciate the membership. 
Welcome, welcome, brother. Or sister. I don't I can't I can't just assume it. I'll quiet here. What 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 did I make my zoom? Okay, so the survivor wasn't in this home. Okay, so there's a few other homes here. We should be able to go search. Okay, um, let me see her skills really quick. Okay, so we've max cardio. Weapon uh, skill specialization. I think I'm going to give her blade, edged weapons. And then... I don't know if I want to go for ninja or focus aim. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll get the spin kick. I'm going to show you guys. This spin kick is so good. So good. But we're going to have to wait for wits level 7 if we want ninja. And shooting level 7 if we want focus aim. Hey, are you in there? Was a survivor. Soul survivor, how you doing? Oh, that was my base firing. Consider this one searched. Okay, so they're not here either. Uh, which game do I like more, SOD1 or SOD2? Um, I mean, I like SOD2 more only because that's the game I'm super used to and decent at. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of things about SOD1 that hey, I absolutely love. There? Time to move on. Damn. But then there's some things about SOD1 that I don't like, you know what I mean? So. Hello? I think game, both games have their trade offs. You know, I like the combat in uh, SOD2. The smoothness of the combat, but I like the the depth of the combat in F SOD one. Time to move on. Jesus, man, where is the survivor at? Let me go grab my vehicle. That right there, guys, is the spin kick. Good crap, dude. Wow, man. That bite did so much damage.
Dying Light 2 was pretty cool. Dying Light 2 was definitely pretty cool. Anybody home? The story was... Uh, I, I enjoyed the story quite a bit. Yo, the spin kick is legit. There were certain parts of the gameplay itself that I think could have been done a little bit better, but all around the, uh... Great. It was, it was a great game. Okay, please be in this house. Oh, they, Jesus. I thought I was dead. So we just got to clear out the zombies, which should seem clear. We got to move before more of them show up. All right, yeah, we're good. Thanks for coming again. I'm ready to leave now. Awesome. So that's how that works, I guess. Uh, if your survivors are missing, eventually you'll get a mission to go out and find them. I wonder what happens if you don't go out and find them. Every say roundhouse every time I do the spit again. Yeah, the zombies don't play a big enough role in Dying Light 2. The, I was really disappointed with the nighttime. Um, it was really, really kind of trivial in Dying Light 2. Yeah, definitely, John. I de that, that was awesome. That was awesome. <clears throat> the hell? That we got zombies behind. We got it. Okay, that's all we needed. Thanks. I thought I was dead. All right. So I wonder if that builds friendship with her. I haven't heard from you in a while. Mind pulling in? Okay. Got what we needed. Let's roll. You got that? They should be on your map. Stranger in trouble. Zed hunt juggernaut. Scavengers. Checking in community member found. Jesus Christ, man. These people are all over the place. It's like I'm babysitting. Yeah, we're going to be on Yeah, we're going to I'm actually about to pursue some of those uh character unlocks. I think our defenses are okay, but I'm not sure I want to put them to the test. A few more outposts would give us more of a safety net. Let's go see what this survive survivors doing up here. I'm just trying to get my own survivors in check. You know what I mean? So oh, good sneeze, there it is. Uh. Pardon me, and this is the state of game one, dude. It's game came out quite oh shit. That we don't want. Uh, we gotta be careful with our car. There's no way to fix it. And this game came out back in what, 2013 or something like that. Okay, so what kind of freak zombie is this? Hopefully it's just an armored zombie. Screamer. What are you doing out here? Oh, look, it's the highlight of my day.
Okay, so we still are only at two active survivors that we can use. So right here are the um, survivors that we can unlock. And we already unlocked those ones. Father is... We have to max out every type of facility and break down one. Oh, wow. That actually seems pretty hard hey, to unlock. Are you going to go look into those survivors I mentioned? Um, the dealer is kill 100 zombies with a door. That doesn't seem too bad. The dealer. Who would the dealer? I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we'll pursue the dealer right now, guys. Zach Hill, what's going on? How you doing today, bro? Please don't blow up my car. So we gotta kill a hundred zombies with our car door. Dealers race Santos, really? No way. That yo, that would give us a mechanic, wouldn't it? Uh, which would in turn help us maintain vehicles. Going for it, but yo, finding a hundred zombies. Maybe Marshall. Lucky we aren't dead already. We owe a lot of that to you. Any chance you'd have some space for us? Oh shit, hell yeah, dude. We just got some new survivors. There, there, there was this guy who lived on my street when I was a kid. Biker Steve, we used to call him. I don't know if he was actually a biker or, or if his name was even Steve, come to think of it. Anyway, this crazy fuck, I swear, all he did was get drunk and pick fights. Didn't matter where, didn't matter with who. And one time, he walks into a swine and bovine. He goes up to a table full of, I don't know, construction workers, longshoremen, whatever. Big ass dudes. And Steve, who weighs maybe 115 pounds, soaking wet, just starts going off on them. Just starts calling their wives ugly, calling their moms whores, and every horrible thing that you can think of. And then he tops the whole thing off with, and I, and I shit you not, and whoever your favorite football team is, they're a bunch of pussies. Man, <laughs> they beat the shit out of him. Cops had to tase a couple of them just to pull him off. And Biker Steve, he's just grinning like an idiot the whole time. I wonder what the hell happened to that guy. I hope he's still out there somewhere. Damn, Biker Steve. Straight up picking fights with zombies for shits and giggles, you know? Yo, Biker Steve was that guy, dude. <laughs> He was that guy. You got it from here? Oh, my bad. Didn't we mean got it. it from here. So he's got two new members to our community. Trust lost. Ref like so well. Seriously. Are they playable? This is good, right? I mean it doesn't suck. One of them is. One of them's hurt, actually, too, with cracked ribs. Ugh. So he's construction. She's in me another medicine. Uh, we got powerhouse, etiquette. 
Okay, so we're up to 13 zombies on that dealer, the dealer mission. Go grab this uh, sports car over here. This will probably help us. We'll go around, kill zombies really quick, and uh, see if we can unlock the dealer. I got nothing left. Oh yeah, this is the car right here. You've impressed a lot of people around here. So, you know, if you wanted to claim dibs on some of the better gear, I don't think anybody'd mind. Those cars got some get up and go, man. We'll go down to the farmland down there and see if we can uh, find some hordes. Watch out for that dirt. Holy shit, man. You start spinning. I don't know if this is going to work. This car is wicked. Slippery. Got a feral. Thing is fast as oh that's a bloater. Okay, so these farmlands are kind of sketch. Rodrigo, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Rogerio, my bad. I appreciate the love, man. Thank you so much. So 100 zombies with a door is quite a lot of zombies, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, can't break fences. Get off, get off, get off. There's the airplane, guys, before the blood plague got to it. Show you what that looked like. That's that's not the that's not what we do there. I'm on mouse and keyboard. Let's see if there's also another. So we're at 30 out of 100. Oh, that's not too bad. We're getting there. The scholar is complete all research projects. I don't know what that means. Uh, get torn apart by. Oh, we don't have tra uh, the tragedy.
Ooh, the car's on its last leg. Yeah, this car is getting pretty tore up. As you guys know, there's no way to repair vehicles in SOD1 unless you uh, have a mechanic at your base and park the car. There's no repair kits. But it's all good. It's all good. Uh, let me see here. We got a few... Qu it's, it's, we're still an early breakdown level, so... What? What? Okay, so the zombies can pull you out of the car from the other side. The Phoenix, Phoenix, kill a hundred zombies with fire. Yo, that sounds dope. The Phoenix. Uh, the Joker's only prepare twelve snacks. Yo, that that sounds pretty easy. Um. In the Phoenix. The Hunter. Kill 50 zombies with rifles. The Mother. Cook a delicious feast. Uh, the Commander. Complete three surveys. Wow. Yeah, we could do that. So that one will actually be able to finish right now. Uh, complete three surveys and you unlock a, a hero called the Commander. Wonder who that's going to be. Things are getting pretty hairy out there. And time's not exactly on our side, if you know what I mean. I see some place worth a scavenging run. So it's kind of like State of Decay 2 with like the bounty broker. But we'll instead of getting out. like weapons and items, you unlock survivors, like special run. heroes. Do you get Cleo drops from level one? I think we did get Cleo drops in level one. I'm not sure though. I remember having Cleo drops though. Snake Gaming, what's going on? How you doing today? Looks like that's all there is to see. Okay, so two out of three done. And there should be another survey point somewhere. We'll go check in downtown Marshall, see if there's another survey point over there somewhere. Oh, actually, I can see the cell tower over there. So I hit level 90 now. Trap it. Uh, yeah, I do. Pl I mean, that's a, that's what we're doing right here. We're kind of testing out the reception. We'll see, trying to see if uh, the viewers are enjoying this. And yeah, it definitely will be something I play. Locking it down to a specific day of the week. I, I don't know if I could do that. I mean, it doesn't sound too hard. But yeah. Uh, I think with us getting close to cleaning up some of these big games that we got, you know, we're getting close to uh, 
well, I wouldn't say close to the end of any of them, but we're, we're definitely making some good progress on the, some, a lot of the games we're playing right now, so. So, I, I, so we took the P.O. box down. Um, I know Crystal was working on maybe getting it back up. I gotta, I gotta ask her about that. I'll take a look around. So this should unlock us another hero once There's we complete this. Well, put it this way, guys. If we, how about this? If we can get, if we can get, uh, how many likes are we at right now? We get like 350 I likes, 400 or so likes on this. 350 to 400 likes. We'll we'll, we'll do this every out. every Wednesday. I see some place worth a scavenging. Early in the day. I, I could swing that. Mm -hmm. Just gotta see if uh, people on the channel want to show. Uh, uh, if people on the channel want to see it, you know they'll they'll drop that support, and we'll see. We'll see. We'll go. We'll go from there. All right. Yo, Downtown Marshall is no joke. Have I played Grand Theft Auto games? Oh, of course. I, I've played uh, San Andreas. I've played a little bit of GTA 4, and I beat the whole GTA 5. I was actually in Afghanistan when uh, GTA 5 came out. My wife sent it out to me uh, when it released. She sent me a copy of it. I played it in uh, Manus on my way back. Manas. House there. Pharmacy office. Vehicle. I think I've seen enough for there, now. Unlock the commander. Of course, Jeremy. Of course, dude. Survivor. They really sound like they know what they're doing. There it is. You want to go bring them in? It's mm, definitely we can use another good person around here. Things are starting to sound pretty urgent. I don't know how long our friends can hold out. Okay, so where is this survivor hero? Friend in trouble. Zed hunt escort. I should probably get a better condition vehicle. Um but we'll just ro we'll roll with this until it's done. Full time. I'm on I, my I way. stream breakdown on Twitch um, like last week. That's it for smashing zombies with my door. Nah, yeah, I wasn't on YouTube, not with breakdown. Eric, how you doing? Yeah, Servinius, the, the Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the games big on my list that I want to play. Like, um, I, I really, really do want to play that one. 
it sounds like there's actually quite a few zombies over here attacking this person we just got. Look at this horde, man. Jesus. Oh, this must be one of the lifeline survivors. How about it? Just lead the way. All right, so we Let's just got move. ourselves a new hero character. My little brother actually plays Apex Legends. He's um, he's gonna be starting to stream soon too. Um, he he wants to stream Apex. So once he gets that set up. We could, I'll probably play a couple games with him, uh, you know, because I know he wants uh, he wants to show me what that Apex Legends life is all about. I was a real big Overwatch player, um, but he, yeah, my brother lives and breathes Apex Legends. It's like his top game. Here we are. All right. We're good from here. Zed's ahead. Lock and load. So I wonder what this survivor's all about. Awesome. So, see, this guy's sick. All right. Um, we're going to have to inc make our infirmary better because I believe that right now... Get matching tattoos? <laughs> no. Um... Medical professional requires a trained healer. I do have medicine people, though. So, recovers injuries and illness each day. Yeah, so we're going to go with the level 2 infirmary. Because, yeah, that sickness can spread. And next thing you know, your whole entire community's sick. And that could get really, really messy really quick. All right, I want to see. So, this is our new survivor. It's the military. Man, the fact... You know what's crazy? Is um, that they put multicam in this game. And this was back before multicam was really a thing. Back in 2013, we didn't really start... Uh, yeah, yeah, we were rocking multicam. Cause, uh, yeah, I deployed Afghanistan to multicam at, in uh, 2013. Can you believe I was in Afghanistan when this game came out? I did not know that. Drop that. Don't need two guns. It's a decent rifle. I don't know if... It has a low ammo cap, though, so we'll grab a better... I have this M16. Yeah. Yeah, I played Breakdown before on the channel a long time ago. Long time ago. And we'll swap that out for... Crowbar. All right, let's see here. Search and rescue a friend in trouble. I don't, I don't know what that means. It says it's a friend and they're in trouble. Uh, I had that. Now, armored zombies are legitimately bulletproof in, in State of K1. Like, <laughs> you can't kill them with a. Uh... Oh, she does have. You know, we'll go focus aim. What the hell?
We'll go focus aim on her. I don't know how to activate focus aim though. Not a chance. Got to look that up. How, how the hell do we activate focus aim? Um, controls. Can shoot, execute, melee attack. I don't know. Won't work. I'm trying to see how to activate the focus aim. Maybe if I click on it, will it tell me? Details. Uh, right mount button, tap left shift. Okay. Wow, yo, that really slows down time quite a bit. See, I would prefer this over gunslinging because gunslinging is, is snap aim. It's aimbot compared to this where it just slows time and you, but you still have to aim, you know, like. I, I can get behind that. That's dope. That's dope. Alari, what is going on? Yeah, focus aim is pretty nice. It's kind of like, like Horizon, you know what I mean? With the slow, slow motion. On the move. Duly noted. Let's go rescue the survivor. Titanfall could help you understand what's happening. Yeah, I've never played Titanfall. My crowbar is almost broken. What the hell? Is it already yellow? I didn't even see it. No, it's not yellow yet. See, Sean says gunslinger is almost necessary for console. But the thing is, is I, I feel like even on console, you would still be able to use um, slow motion. I think it'd be just as helpful as gunsling, and if not, if anything, I think it'd be better. Hello. Thanks. You okay? Come on, we gotta get going. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm ready to leave now. Wow. Okay. That was an impressive stroke of good fortune. Oh yeah, it was. So we're definitely getting some large backpacks. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the slow motion would be super good. Out here rescuing survivors left and right. Not exactly used to being rescued like that. I've been taking care of myself pretty much my whole life. Mom skipped to town when I was four. What? Dad was high more often than not. You got slime? Learned pretty quick yeah. you can't count on anybody else to look after you. Sorry, you? I'm rambling. I'm trying to say thanks. Nice to know the end of the world hasn't turned everybody into huh? selfish assholes. What am I playing?
Let's get her back to base. Hey, Carter, thank you so much for popping in, man. I appreciate it. This looks like the So place. we're up to what, eight survivors now? Okay, that's all we needed. Thanks. I thought I was dead. Tons of backpacks. Alright, let me see here. Um so we got that. We got the commander. The mother is cook. So there was another one that's uh, craft snacks, I believe, right? Which one was it? I need a situation report on base activities. There's an issue with the infirmary. Hmm. I know we wanted to make some improvements, but we're missing a few things. The Joker. We can track it down or find another way, but it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. Make snacks. Um. Oh, damn, that takes like four minutes. Huh. I mean, I'm used to State of K2 where everything's like instant. You know what I mean? Uh, we actually had to add time to stuff in the dark side mod. Um, but yeah, right there. That's going to actually take a bit to work on. So last thing we'll do, we'll go out here. Siege. Man, there's so many things going on in this damn game. Try to see if we can get this glue for our, our workshop because uh, I believe your facilities continue to upgrade um, even when you're offline, right? Three hundred likes. Thank you guys so much. Zombie. I know you have a lot to do, but time's running short on some of this. You may need to hurry. There it is, Dot. We got Corbin in the house. Uh, I was 0311, brother. Oh, uh, we had Corman with us. I always felt bad for the green side Corman. Um So how this works, guys, if you guys don't know, is Navy Corman support the Marine Corps. There are there are docks, pretty much. They deploy with us, they're they're in the shit with us. And um I had a I had a couple guys that went uh that became Navy corpsmen and got attached to the Marines. Now the the issue is when a corpsman gets attached to the Marines, they legitimately become Marines. They 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 wear our uniforms. They have to uphold our standards. Like they do our PT. It, it's it's so so I feel so bad for them. You know, guys who join the Navy and end up in the Marine Corps. <laughs> that's what happens when you become a Navy Greenside corpsman. Huh. 
Bjorn, what is going on? Yeah, stamina regen super slow in State of K2 or State of K1. That was an impressive stroke of good fortune. Heads up, I'm coming in. We'll be ready. And we're clear. So yeah, if you guys want a quick way into the um Yeah, and that's the thing is uh, and they run all our, our 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 medical facilities, it's all Navy Corpsmen. Um but the ones that are uh, that in the hospitals, they're not attached to actual line units and stuff like that. So but um yeah, we had I always felt bad for the corpsmen. But if you guys want to join the Marine Corps without having to go to Marine Corps boot camp, become a Navy corpsman. <laughs> you you you'll you'll legitimately be in two branches of the military at once. It's a super awkward position to be in. Oh man, our corpsmen I, yeah, our corpsmen were we took care of them, guys. Definitely took care Almost of them, guys. Almost home with a load of useful gear. We'll crack open a cold one for you. I thought we might be able to use this. Ooh, what you got? I figured we need all we can get. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this installed over here, and now our our it works or infirmary is gonna be upgrading to level two. And now we can craft suppressors also. Uh, let me get some of those crafted. That takes 30 minutes for those to craft. Holy crap. Uh, let me see. How many beds do we have in this base? So I have eight beds and eight people. So we're good on beds. We don't have to worry about any additional beds right now. Oh, SIQ all the time. Hell yes, dude. I remember our corpsman um, when we were out of training. My our, our our actual platoon, like he was attached to my platoon, uh, Doc Beamer. He used to uh, they would go and they would do morning sick call and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, if he was doing sick call, SIQ is sick in quarters. Uh, so pretty much you could go to the, the in the morning before PT. You can go uh, to over and see the docs. And you'd be like, oh, you know, I don't feel good. And if you're real cool with them, they'd give you SIQ, which just means you get to sit in your room all day and be sick. You know, it's pretty much like you get a day off. And in the military, it's not like you don't get paid. So uh, it's awesome. If you if you have if you're good with your corpsman, if you're good with your docs, um, and you go to sick call, and yeah, they'll get SIQ, and then you're literally chill in your room all day, play video games. It, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, um, we're gonna end this here, guys. I um, I got a little bit of time in. We're gonna I'm gonna get ready to do our Elden Ring stream, and I want to I want to tell you guys how much I appreciate you for coming and watching this. Uh, if you guys do want to see some more SOD to or SO, uh, State of Decay breakdown, uh, make sure you guys smash that like button. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Uh, like I said, if we can get this up to like 400 likes, we'll we'll do the, we'll do this weekly. All right, we'll do this uh, once a week. So, thank you. Uh, give me a little bit, and I'm going to jump in and play some uh, Elden Ring. So, I appreciate you guys. If you have it on your way out, smash that like button. If you